You guys, we're back with Stein. The ninth session, working with him. He's the reactive one. Trying to get both eyes. Now he was doing real good with target training, so we'll see how he can do. Nose. Do you remember this? Nose. We'll use hay to help him learn it. Still has a pretty high head. Remember my brush, buddy, huh? You can tell he's kind of smelling it a little bit. Nose deep. Here you go. Are you too uptight to eat? Huh? You have kind of a high head. Yeah. Good boy. Okay, if he's got to walk it off, that's okay. Get both eyes here. So every other session with him has been in the round pen because normally they're over here and then he darts over to the round pen. And so that's just where we work with them. But today, he came over here and Frank stayed over in the round pen. Just kind of checking out my phone over there. <laughs> He's moving my phone. nose so he was even walking forward to do this game and today he's a little bit more high-headed deep here you go Nose. Deep. <laughs> Nose. Deep. There, he's acting like he's starting to remember the game. So when you're watching the series with Stein and Doc, you'll notice that I've been doing a lot more work with, with Stein here than I have with Doc. And that's because Stein, Stein is just so much further behind. He's He's not ready to trust, the connection's not there. Where the little guy, he's rocking it. Nose.
I'm bringing it a little closer to make this easier for him. Deep. So the reason I moved closer was just to make that easier for him. I want him to be successful with my game. Hi, you. Now I was trying to do a little tiny bit of joining up when we would go into the round pen and he would start running and running. I thought, well, if I can just get him to change directions over and over, you know, we could work on that joining up stuff. However, he's, he was just, he was getting too worked up where I did not feel like it was safe for him. Nose, his nose is still crooked right now, showing me that he's stressed out. Deep. Okay, so I don't know how big his bubble is. I think he's got a pretty big bubble, so we'll just try to... You're just not into eating right now. You're not hungry. It's probably because it's so hot out. So hot out. It's a little bit windy, which is kind of nice right now. Hi, you. Is that brush curious, huh? His lips are relaxed. That's a good sign. Hi. Are you investigating my brush? That's good. That's good. We like that. Yes, we do. We like that you're being investigative. Investigative. And go back. He had a break. I haven't petted him on his shoulder with this yet. Since that was a little stressful, he's got to walk it off. <laughs> Checking out the phone. You're you're kind of hard on phone position, Stein. You know that. Let's go with the nose. See if he'll do it. His head is lower now than it was before. can help lure him with the hay, but he's not acting super hungry. Nose. Deep. Want more hay? His lips are still pretty relaxed. I like that. Look at there's hay. There you go. There you go. Feel good on your nose, a nice soft brush.
That was a big breath, huh? Licking and chewing. You looking and chewing some more? Are you starting to get this lesson? Hmm? Boy, good boy. Good boy. Do you like my brush, huh? Try to get more over by your shoulder. Yeah. That's scary, huh? Yeah. Hey guys, I am back with Wild Doggy Duck, and we're going to start progressing, progressing on his training. So when you're working on training a donkey, it's important to start with what that you've already showed them, right? So let's start with the nose, nose. Now he's only done this once. Deet. Okay. So now he did it. Now he gets the pay. Now, if you're working with a really nervous donkey, having a long stretch of hay like this can be helpful if they're not uh, comfortable enough to come up to you or take hay from your hand. So what we've done so far with him is we did the target training with the nose, nose, deep. We started target training with the neck. We want to let them eat before we ask them more questions.
If they feel the need to walk away, just let them walk. They'll come back when they're ready. Now, when you're teaching the neck, you're going to hold up your target, say neck, and because they don't know, you're going to lure them over with your hay. That's how I've done it. Right now, he's not touching it with his neck. He's touching it with his nose. Neck. Neck. Deep. Now he moved over, touched it very nicely. And today we're also going to start to introduce the halter to him. Now we brought home three, right? We got Doctor, That's this is Doctor, and then Frank and Stein, so we have three. Five, four, three, two, one, deep. And all three of them at our different stages. So Doc here, I'm able to pet him down to his knees with my long brush. I'm able to pet his back, his neck. Uh, he is a little bit nervous with his belly. Um, Frank, I have petted him with the long brush, but just on his neck and shoulders. Neck. So right now he's turning his head. He's not touched it yet with his neck because he's just turning to smell it. Uh, deep, there, it hit it. So we're gonna review all these things that we've done with them. And, and that's an important part of training. It's building up their confidence. We're making yes donkeys. And then later on we can add more things. And the more we get trust with them, the more we can do more. Five, four, three, two, one, deep. I'm moving a tire on the ground. He says that's scary. I just want to make more room for the camera here. So if they get scared for something, just let them walk off. They'll come back. Looky there, here he comes. Yep, I moved that tire, didn't I? Hey, buddy. Good job. Okay. Nose. Deep. Try to get an even amount of what you're doing on both sides. Hi, let's get you to take a step forward. I'm going to try to get you in a good spot for the camera. Try to get a little pressure to get him to take a step over. That, still not where I want you for the camera. There, that's a good spot. All right, let's try this again. Neck. Deep. So he's not quite following me yet, so I can also I can also push him right now. 
Good boy. All right, let's try this again. Neck. So he hasn't stuck, he just smelt it so far. Deep. Now the counting down, when I brush him and I count down five, four, three, two, one, that's to help him know that there's an end to what we're doing. And he doesn't know it yet, but he will learn this. Let's get you to step forward. Good boy. There you go. Okay. So he doesn't get just to take hay whenever he wants it. Five, four, three, two, one. Deep. So this hay needs to be for when he's doing something. You know, at first we'll give him hay just to get him comfortable being around us. But this stuff is always progressing and graduating. So he doesn't get hay now for being cute. He gets hay for doing something. Right now, I want him to stand still while I brush him with a long brush. Five, four, three, two, one, deep. And again, if you have a really nervous donkey having a, a big handful of hay so that they can take it further away from your hand, um, Valhalla was very slow and we needed to do stuff like that to help her. Five, four, three, two, one, deep. And then when I'm going, when I'm adding to what I'm doing, you know, so if at first I'm just brushing his shoulder, when I say the word deep, I'll go a little bit further. And I'll keep doing that to kind of test the water to see how he can handle something. Five, four, three, two, one, deep. If you guys notice, he leaned away just the slightest amount. And that's really what we're watching for now is the very small movements. Now he's leaning back into me. But when they lean away, when their head is away, like, it is right now it's saying leave me alone or I'm nervous now he's saying he's open to more training when he turns towards me five four three two one deep So right now I'm using the hay and the reward, the pay, for just being able to get touch. Now later on, like the, the Golden Girls, Bahala Ah and Grace, <laughs> there's no oats or hay to be able to touch them. <clears throat> so you see where his head is right now? He says he's nervous now. He says he's inviting me. Five, four, three, two, one, deep. You want me to hold it for you while you chew it? Oh dear. <clears throat> Next we'll go to his belly some. So let's say he's really nervous on one spot, like his belly or his legs or his back. We'll go there a little bit, but we're not gonna hang out there a lot. So here, he's comfortable here. So we can go five, four, three, two, one, deep. <clears throat> we just want to do things that we think he's going to be okay with. <clears throat> and we're going to find out he's okay by doing a little at a time and then building on that. You see his head is away from me. He's not interested right now. Now he's interested. Five, four. Do you see him flinch? Three, two, one. Deep. 
These methods will work on domestic just the same as a wild animal. The only difference is how fast you might move through the different stages. Like right now we're on session nine and he's the only one that I'm touching everywhere with a long brush. Um, Frank, we're just barely touching. Five, four, three, two, one. Dean and Stein, we're still helping him be comfortable around us. So go at the pace that the animal you're working with is capable of going. Don't expect that you can push things further because somebody else is further. It's always based on where the animal is at and even more so where the animal is at each day. Maybe you could do something with it yesterday and they're not okay with that today. That's okay. <clears throat> Just keep working with them where they're at. Seamus wants his turn. Come on. Nose. Deet. Now with the Golden Girls, I had, um, or I was already teaching them to use oats for this. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna incorporate oats yet for Doc because he's not needing to gain a bunch of weight. The Golden Girls did need to. Five, four, three, two, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Five, four, three, two, one, deet. There you go. Okay, so there when I said ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, and I lifted up my knee, it wasn't to, that was just to kind of get his attention. And the reason is he was starting to come into my space because he wanted the hay. This hay, it's payment for his behavior, not a smorgasbord for him just to take the hay when he wants it. Ready? So if you ask them, and this is something I haven't quite done yet, you say ready and they'll look at you when they all, or they'll learn to look at you when they are ready. Five, four, three, two, one, deep. <clears throat> He is very chill with all of this, all of it. Like, wow. Nose. Deet. Now, just because he's so chill doesn't mean I would walk behind him yet. Nose. Deet. Just want to get them in a good camera view. Now, if you're, um, now you want to be back far enough so he can't kick you. Remember, he can kick from here. He can make contact with me. So this long brush is going to keep me out of kicking range. Five, four, three, two, one, deet. And remember, we only progress down his leg. If he's not leaning away or um, just, you have to watch their body language. If he was leaning away or ducking his head, that would be a sign that he's not comfortable where you might be more likely to get kicked or swishing his tail. Five, four, three, two, one, deep. There he's on his toe. You guys can see that in the camera. You're doing a good job, aren't you? You're doing a very good job. He is so matted. So like when you start working closer to them, make sure you keep your body this way. And that way, if you get kicked, it's at the back of your legs and they don't break your kneecaps. Again, every animal is different on how fast they are capable of progressing through these steps. And now we'll start showing him the halter. Now, I typically, I use rope halters, but for teaching them how to wear a halter, I like this one. It happens to be um, pretty stiff to get their nose through it. It kind of keeps its shape well, so I like that. So right now, I just want him to show interest in this halter, and then he gets pay. You like my halter? Hmm? Showing interest. 
he gets paid. We can also target train with the halter, nose. Now, if you say it and they don't know what to do, deep, use your hay to help lure them to where you want them to go. Nose. Deep. Good job. You see how he just stiffened up when I moved there? Watch for all those little signs and how the stiffness can go away that fast. Neck. Now he might not do this because neck is really, really new. So if he doesn't do it because he doesn't understand, that's his face, not his neck. That's okay though, he's investigating it. That's good. So if he doesn't get it, <clears throat> then we're going to use this hay. I'm going to have it out in front of me and I'm going to lure his neck over here. That's your face. That's your face. Neck. There you go. Neck. That's your face. It's not your neck. Deep. There. Okay, so they can learn this all on accident. making sure that you're keeping your back of your knees where if you get kicked, they don't break your kneecaps. Neck. So now I'm going to lure him because he's still learning what neck means. That's your nose. Deep. There, he touched it. And if it's accident, it doesn't matter. That's how they learn. It's okay to walk away after you do some of this stuff to help them, um, just to give them a bigger, bigger release. And any time during this, he could decide that he needs to take a walk because he's overwhelmed. Let's come over here. Come on. Good boy. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. All right, let's see. I want to go on this side now, don't I? All right. So now it's the same thing, but you don't just get to take it. So this can just be in a clumpled mess right now. That's okay. <clears throat> Neck. So he doesn't know. He's like, I don't know what that means. You speak a different language. Lure him with the hay. Deep. Just make sure you touch his neck or his neck is touched before you give him the, the hay. The hay is pay for his behavior. So we brought home seven wild donkeys last year. Right now he is the easiest one, like by far. Neck. Deep. Okay, so you get him comfortable with that. And because he seems so chill, we're gonna go with this. And then we're gonna go over his head. Deep. And you might not go very far yet because he might get nervous. Remember, I'd rather go a little bit now and then add to it than to overwhelm him where he's got to walk away. The goal is to stay within, within his you know, comfort level. And what I mean by that is if his comfort level is here, but he can go here before he's got to walk away, we want to stay in this range. You can't just take the hay and go here. That's changing eyes, guys. You see how he got a little bit stiff there, but he still was able to hold it together. He did take a step back. He says, wow, that was scary. Remember donkeys are, they're pretty stoic. Okay, so they're, <clears throat> they're gonna be brave and duh, he's not so overwhelmed that he's not gonna come back for more. I love it. Go here. Keeping, at first, we're going to keep all of our movements very calm. We can, in, we can incorporate being spastic later on. But right now, you could incorporate it now. But 
Remember, my goal right now is to keep them from moving. So that's why I'm keeping things very calm right now. Everything you do on one side, you're going to want to do on the other. So we could try to touch him with this on the back. When I did that, he um, acted like he had a fly on his back. Let's see if I can get him. Well, first I'll come over here. Then I'll get him to turn so you guys can see that, hopefully. Oh, scary. Now, could I just throw a halter on him? I think I probably could. However, I want to earn his trust. Nose. So if I went too fast, and even if I got it on, because I went too fast, he wouldn't feel confident about what I'm doing. The more things can be presented as his idea, the longer lasting our lessons are going to be. Neck, you could see he was starting to lean towards me. Deet. Oh, he says his mouth is still full. You can't take hay from me, though. Like my halter. So now I'll put it over his head. And again, from this side, he's never seen this happen. So this is like doing it for the first time all over. So we're going to go low, or I mean, kind of go high. Did you see? He got pretty scared there. This is a whole nother donkey. Their minds are pretty amazing. It was described to me once that they could watch two different TV shows at the same time and totally understand what's going on with both of them. There he saw it. He switched his tail a tad. And that's okay. We're not going to like scold that or anything. He's just telling us how he feels and he needs to be able to communicate how he feels in a safe manner. We have to watch all the little things. Again, guys, this is the ninth session working with Doc here. You like this game, don't you? The game is stand still while I do different stuff. Changing eyes again, guys. Do you remember how much he jumped and got stiff the first time compared to how he is now? But he's still taking a step back, that little step back. Might not seem like anything, but it is a sign that he's still uncomfortable. There's hay blowing on the ground and he just jumped at that. So that's another sign to me that maybe he's even starting to get maxed out. Oh, and of course, it's been 24 minutes, Doc. So we're going to end this session. I'll do it one more time. Him starting to be more reactive than he was a little bit ago. It can be two different things. It can be that I'm maxing him out for what his mind can handle right now. Or that he just needs to take a break. So you can work with them for hours out of the day. Just give them a lot of breaks. But this week I'm going to try just to do uh, 15 minutes a day. And you can see I'm not very good at that. We're already at 25 Next, on to Frank and Stein. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to Training Wild Burrows. And we're working on a comparison series here with a Mustang right next to me. This is Stein, a one year old, and uh, also a one year old burrow. Deet. What I'm working on right now is to help him recognize that the word DEET, D-E-E-T, DEET, that when I say that, he's going to know that food is coming. Uh, this is the beginning steps of target training. I just really want to work on getting him comfortable around me, build up his confidence, get that connection built. So each time you go work with your donkey or your Mustang, reassess what you did on the last session 
deep, reassess what you did on the last session, what you liked, what you want to improve on, what your goals are. And that way you can keep building on that. But it's really important to reflect on what went well, what is going well. Make sure my microphone is on. In the previous videos, after we got these guys deep, my microphone was broken, so I just got a new one. So when I assess Stein, his head's getting nice and low there. When I assess him, he's, he's reactive. Um, he's up over top. Maybe he would make a good barrel horse. Deet, compared to Frank, which you can see him on another channel. I'll put a link to the videos in my playlist for, um, for him. Um, Frank is just very mellow. He's, he's silly. He's brave. Unlike Stein here. Deet. So right now, both of the Mustangs, they're not very comfortable with us being on their side. They really like us to be out front. So we're going to just keep working on giving them food, getting them comfortable with us being around them. And then we can start incorporating being on more sides of them. And, and right now, again, I'm working on him knowing, whoop, hi, you. Are you smelling me? Do I smell good? Do I smell good? Hi. Are you going to eat my hair? I have a donkey who likes to eat my hair. Deet. So we're going to work on him just being okay with us being around him. And also to be able to work on being on his sides. Now Stein has been a little bit more tricky, like trying to go back to the drawing board to see what's going to work best for him. For a little while, I thought about doing like join up stuff. Deet. But he's so up over the top and rammy. He knocked over a donkey. And I don't want him to get hurt. That's not the goal. I felt like he was moving out of fear. Uh, and we didn't try very hard with it. Just try different things and see what, what feels comfortable, what seems to be working. Hi. I love how low his head is getting now. Deet. I was trying to say deet this time for his head being low. But really right now the goal is just for him to associate the word DEET with food is coming. So maybe he's a little nervous or anxious and he's got to walk it off. That's okay right now. That's okay. My son is sitting outside of the round pen and he's eyeing up my son trying to figure out what he is down there. It's like I've never seen a person sitting down before. Hi, you. Well, I don't know, it's, my training's kind of stopped right now, and not that it's bad for you to be sitting there. Um, it's just stopping me in my tracks right now. Hi.
deep. There, we're working it again. Good. He's got to go investigate. <laughs> not sure if you can see him in the video or not. There he is over in the corner. You ready for more? You ready for more? Deet. Again, this is just to help him know what the word means. He wants to go investigate. That's okay. We're really trying to build up that bond. Giving him the choice to go so he chooses to stay. Those aren't my words. Those come from Ty Evans, but I really like them. I do want him to choose to stay with me right now. Deet. I'm letting my hand touch his uh, his mouth when I give him hay. Deet. Deep. Deep. I'm not sure what that reaction was for. You like this game, huh? Deet. He's got to fly. Oh, he's got to go. Going to investigate my son again. He's thinking about coming back. So sometimes distractions happen, guys. Just kind of go with it. Hi, Stein. So an ideal pen size would be smaller than this. This is a 50 foot diameter round pen. And it definitely makes it harder. So about a 20 by 20 is pretty ideal. Deet. There you go. Good boy.
you can see how pacey he is. He's he's just more nervous. He just needs the time to start to to trust. And we'll keep building on that. Deep. You're gonna nibble on me. No, no, no nibbling. No nibbling on my shirt. Deep. There you go. Deep. 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 You're gonna eat my hair? Honk likes to eat my hair too. Deep. So I didn't want to say deep and reward him when he was coming closer. Um, we want to make sure that he's down and calm. Deep. And right now, just trying to earn that trust. I, I don't feel the need to push him away right now. Deep. 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 And later on, we'll incorporate other things like the touch, um, where his head is at. We'll incorporate other things as he's learning and accepting, getting that connection. Deet. And then later on, we won't be using any kind of food reward or or not as often. Deet. It's important when you're using a food reward that it's for something specific. You got to decide what that specific thing is and then reward that. We have to be consistent. Deet. Again, right now I'm just trying to help him learn what that means. We'll see if he'll start to come over towards me.
Okay, him just staying there and not having to walk away. That's a that's a win. Deep. Deep. Deet. Deet. Me being able to big up, be out here with the bag. That's a big win, too. Deet. Touching his chin every time I uh, give him hay. Deet. Whoops, whoops. So putting my hand there might be too much for him. I take a step back. Deep. Give him a little break again. Let's see if he's curious enough to come over towards me this time. Is it scary if I'm on your side? No, oh, is that scary? Deep. Let's see if you'll come forward for it. You're gonna rubberneck it, huh? Are you a rubbernecker? Hmm? Seeing my bag move more. He's being curious about my bag. That's better than running off. <laughs> Deep. Deep. You gotta make it easy enough. So right now it's not easy enough. He's not willing to move his head away from that bag. He's gotta watch it. There you go. So we gotta make everything easy enough for him to be successful. Otherwise he'll get discouraged. Deep. See if he can come over. You can't have my bag though. There you go. Good boy. So when when we compare with this comparison series, the donkey doc to Frank to Stein here, 
Deet. Doc is way ahead. It's almost not fair because you know, we, we gentled seven, seven donkeys last year. And so far he is by far the easiest one. Um, and Stein here, he's a little bit more like Bahala was when we brought her home. Pretty nervous. Oh, good job. Um, so it's just going to take more time. It took more time to get through to Bahala, but she's absolutely amazing. Um, so don't be discouraged if yours is taking longer. Just be patient. It'll happen. And it'll just take the time that they need. Deet. Again, guys, pay attention to how calm, how low his head is. His tail's not swishing like crazy, at least not from what I can see. Deet. See his ears perk up when I said the word? I think he might be starting to make the connection. Deet. See if I can get some some pets on his nose. Oh, good job. Good job. But you had to stay take a step back, huh? Deet. There. Good boy. Oh, we're getting to the really yummy stuff now. Let's see if I can touch you. Can I touch you? You're going to pull just enough away, aren't you? Pull just enough away. Deep. Can you handle this? Hmm? Can you handle this? Not so much. Hi. Hi. Good. Good boy. I'll just settle for playing with his lips a little bit. We want them to be successful. So if we're asking Deet for more than they can handle, we're just going to, we're not going to be creating that, that bond. Deet. This is the really good stuff, isn't it? Yeah. There's still some more. Your session's about done. Ooh, deep. Deep. Very gentle with his lips. I like that. Let's see if I can step off to the side. Are you more comfortable with me on your right? Deep. Here. That was kind of poor timing. I said it right when he was starting to walk off. So I'm just going to let him be. He'll come back. Being on his side, I'm still pushing it too far. So when you do that, and it will happen, when you push too far, just go back to something they're comfortable with.
standing there facing me. I like that. Deep. There you go. All right, we're going to call that his session today. Keep building on that, just getting him super comfortable. We're going to know that he's comfortable because his head's going to be lower, even lower than it is now. Um, and he, he's just going to get more relaxed. He's not going to have to walk it off. We're back with Doc for his training. So whenever we start training, we want to go over things that he already knows. So we're going to start with uh, target training. Nose. Deep. There you go. Is that scary? No, oh, was that scary? Remember, if they get uh, overwhelmed and need a break, just let them walk away. They'll come back. Nose. Deep. Here you go. Neck. He says, what does that mean? You're almost there. You're almost there, but you got your nose. I want your neck. Yeah, deep. He just touched it. Here you go. There you go. Do another step. Okay. Neck. Deep. That was excellent. Good job. Yeah, good job. Now, we haven't done this one yet, but let's try for his butt. Butt. Not your nose this time. I want your butt. So it'll be, I'm sure, by accident. Deep. He just touched it on accident. We are going to reward that because that's how he's going to learn. Good boy. Butt. That's your nose. I want your butt. Your butt's going the wrong way. You're going to smell that really. You're going to smell all the blue off from it. I want your butt. He says, I'm confused. Butt. Trying to figure it out. Deep. Here. Do my hands smell different? Do I have different lotion on? There you go. So he's a little bit nervous with me on this side. That's okay. Nope, nope, nope. Neck. D. 
deep. Good boy. Here you go. There you go. So he has a parrot lip right now, so he's feeling a little nervous. Yeah. Are you a little nervous? Come on. It's first, th first day with me holding this bag in here, so it might take him a little extra time to get used to it. Come over here. Good. Yeah. Good. Good. Neck. Deep. Here. Look at There you go. There you go. Good boy. Good boy. What's Seamus doing in there? He's making a lot of noise. But first time on this side, he doesn't know what I'm asking yet. Hey, you. You do like to sniff me, but deep, I touched him, okay? But right now, I have to help him learn what this stuff means. Let's do this again, but You're moving the wrong direction. Deep. I touched him again. Again, just trying to help him learn what I'm asking. Nose. Deep. Here you go. But deep. Here you go. All right, now we're going to move to brushing him with the long brush here. You're still kind of scared of my bag, aren't you? Nose. Deep. Here you go. Here, look. There you go. All right, so now when we're doing this, we're gonna do the countdown. Five, 
four, three, two, one, deep. It's going to be hard for you to eat hay if you keep walking away because of the bag. I think you can get brave. I think you can get brave. Five, four, three, two, one, deep. Again, he's just afraid of the bag. That's okay. He'll get used to it. Nose. Whoops. Nose. Got a little bit of a parrot lip, so he's feeling a little overwhelmed. Wrong part. You got to touch the brush, not the handle. Nose. Deep. See how he's been looking away that says he's not ready now he says he's ready Let's see if he'll come over here for it nose deep there you go good job Okay, let's try this again. Five, four, three, two, one, deep. Here you go. Now he's looking away, he's not ready. Now he's ready. Five, four, three, two, one, deep. Went a little farther that time, going a little bit past his knee. And we'll just ease our way into that. Now we'll do the back leg. Man, make sure that you're far enough away, you're not going to get kicked. Five, four, three, two, one, deep. Five, four, three, two, one, deep. Good job. Good boy. Oh, we got to do something for it. Yeah, are you ready? Five, four, three, two, one, deep. Wow, that was a long ways down your foot. That was a good job. So now he's going along really fast, but Bahala, um, she's one of the golden girls. It took a long time to get this far with her. 
Uh, she reacted each time. Ready? His head is away from me. Now it's now he's ready. Five, four, three, two, one. Deep. Good boy. So you have to go at the speed which the animal can go, that your donkey can go or your Mustang. So some are going to be fast and some are going to be slower. Valhalla has turned out absolutely amazing. She is like more timid than Grace still, but she's still a wonderful, wonderful donkey. She moves out. She's got a good little motor when I'm riding her. So just go at the speed that your animal can go. Watch for the little signs, like if they're leaning away from you, that says that they're nervous. So you don't want to spend as much time there. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one, deep. You see how he's kind of flinchy when I was first got there? So I don't want to make bigger movements when he's flinchy. That would uh, likely cause him to move away. And if you are doing the countdown and they're really having a hard time, you can count really fast. Are you ready? Five, four, three, two, one, deep. Well, let's get you to turn, huh? Nose. That's Seamus. Nose. Deep. Nose. Deep. You are a rock star at this. You make those Mustangs look bad, don't you? Yeah. Okay, ready? Here. Nose. Here. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Whoops. 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 Nose. Deep. Here you go. There you go. All right, so now we can do this back leg. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one, deep. There you go. He's looking away from me right now. That would say he's not ready. Now he's looking towards me. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one, deep. Wow, is he doing a good job with this. Here you go. You kind of put it in your mouth, silly. There you go. Nose deep. Nose. Come on. Deep. Nose. Deep. Now we can get that last leg. Get this bag on me so he doesn't go having to leave. Ready? He's turning his head away from me. He's not ready. Now he's ready. Five, four, three, two, one, deep. So here what we're doing, whoops, we're getting him ready to be able to touch him everywhere and to pick up his feet 
but it's all going to take time. We want to move at a, at a rate that he's comfortable with. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one, deet. I'm not sure if you guys noticed, but he leaned away just a tad there. Here you go. So we'll do his back and his belly from this side, and then we'll move on to the halter, preparing him to wear a halter. You ready? He's not ready yet. See how he's looking away? Now he's ready. Five, four, three, two, one, deep. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one, deep. Now, right underneath their chin is a blind spot. So when you're going there, uh, be ready. It'll change eyes and they don't see it for a second. And then it pops out on the other side. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Deet. Ready? Okay, we'll see about brushing them here. This is that blind spot. Five, four, three, two, one, deep. So he gets a little bit nervous about the sound of the bag. That's okay. He'll keep getting used to this. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one, deep. All right, now we'll get the halter. Nose, deep. He's got to go. Just let him go. He'll come back. It's my bag. I'm pretty sure it's the bag. Well, hello there. Are you ready to go again? Are you ready? Nose. Deep. Here you go. Good boy. Hi, you. Hi, what do I have, huh? Again, the reason I like to use this halter is when I go to start putting their nose through, it keeps its shape really well. I'm not sure if you can see that, but when you're holding it, it keeps the shape. It's too big for them, but it's just a nice way to be able to show them how to put their head through there, their nose, uh, whereas like a rope halter is going to collapse on itself. Neck. Not yet. That's your nose. Deep. Here you go. There, yum. Yum. Should we do this on the other side now? You seem pretty chill with all this so far. Again, I think he might be the most chill, the fastest of the eight donkeys that we've gentled, the wild ones. Neck. Seamus is jealous. 
They really do get jealous. Neck. Feet. There you go. Good boy. We'll do that one one more time. Let's see if we can get you so that the camera can see better. Good boy. Not sure if they'll be able to see better here. You're okay. Neck. That's your nose. That's not your neck. I want your neck. Feet. He's got to take a break. No problem. Just let him go take a break. He'll be back when he's ready. Won't you? You'll be back when you're ready. <clears throat> Let's just see if we can't show them how you do neck. Just never sure if it can be seen on the camera very well. Come over here. Good boy. Feet. There you go. There you go. Neck. Feet. I'll give you a big bite. <laughs> And then we're going to start having him put his, or no, I'm going to start going around his head, around his neck, pardon me. That's a big old mouthful I gave you, isn't it? Are you ready? Huh? Are you ready? Okay, so you remember yesterday... We were going up and over his neck. Did you see how he, he just flinched? Okay, so we're going to come down. And there he kind of flinched a little bit more. Hi. So what we're working on is preparing him for all the movements that come with putting on a halter. So we want to be able to touch him everywhere um, in the halter area, at least right now for this part. And the movements, we're going to be having stuff go underneath his chin in that blind spot. He needs to be okay with us um, actually putting this up over his neck and then grabbing it with our other hand to bring it back to the other side. All these steps really pay off. Like I could force it on him right now, but he might resent me later on. So I would rather ease him into it so that when I'm doing this stuff, I'm not causing him unnecessary anxiety and I'm keeping that trust that I'm gaining winning over his heart. Are you ready? Deep. Good boy. Good boy. Are you ready? Huh? Are you ready? See his head's kind of high right now. Deep. Pretty calm with all of this, guys. And each of them can have their own thing. Um, Valma, when we were working on her, she just did not like you to be anywhere near her mouth. So it took extra time to help her pass that. Bahala was just, 
plain old fearful. Um, that's just how she is. Are you ready? So now I'm going to try to grab it from underneath. If he loses his marbles, that's okay. We'll just go back to something he already is comfortable with. Deed. Good job. Good job. So we're going to do this slots and we're going to do it from both sides. His session is going to be about done here. But the way I help them to put their nose through. And again, all of this stuff is practiced step by step, piece by piece. Deep. That way they can uh, get comfortable and confident. Deep. There you go. So when he's comfortable with all this, we'll try it and see what happens here. So then we're going to put this side underneath. I'll grab it from over top of his head and we'll see if he pulls away, life will go on. It's okay. Ready? Ready? Oh, good job. Deep. Okay, I'm going to feed him. Then I'm going to take it off. You could also take it off and then feed him afterwards. So this process, even though he's rocking it and he's doing really, really well, we're going to keep practicing all these steps to help him be comfortable and confident with everything that we're doing. And guys, donkeys are faster than Mustangs, aren't you? You're a smart little dude. You are a smart little dude. Yeah. Thanks for watching.